Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2278, Filter Between When Numbers Are Stored as Text. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Uh, last week, uh, the four easy steps to make a difference as an Excel insider, we said we were going to give away five uh, copies of this awesome uh, vintage Microsoft Office Insider hat. The winners are right here. So, so hey, congratulations to Derek Ken, Mexit, Matt Schuller, Audrey Lee, PM Sojo and Brian XYZ. If you're in that list, uh, go back to that video and send me an email and let me know where to send the stuff. And actually, anyone who entered uh, will at least get a uh, some nice iHeart Excel decals. Uh, so check that out. Now, today's question uh, came from my seminar last week in Milwaukee. And for those of you who have wanted to catch me in a seminar, I'm retiring. I only have six seminars left. So if you're in Lexington, Frisco, Chicago, Springfield, uh, look at that Chicago is smart. They booked me twice or Chattanooga. That's it. After this year, after 2019, I'll only be doing seminars in about 22 counties in Florida. So uh, please uh, check me out if you want to see one of my seminars. All right. So the question came in. Someone has a series of account numbers and had these account numbers been numeric, uh, this would have been easier to do. They want to be able to filter to anything that starts with six, seven, eight, or nine. All right, so we go to data and filter. So I can come in here and say number filters between and say I want to look for anything greater than or equal to six, one, two, three, four, five, and less than or equal to nine, 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 nine. Click OK, and I get just the things that start with six, seven, eight, or nine. All right, that's Fine, but that's not what they had. They actually had text, and even worse, they're not all six digits. There's some extra digits out here. But let's just try and solve this first. Uh, so I came in and said, well, we don't have number filters, and we now have text filters, and there's no longer a between. Uh, there is a custom filter. And actually, hey, here's a challenge. I can't figure out how to make this work. If I said is greater than or equal to, uh, like maybe six star, uh, and is less than or equal to nine star, right? That that returns all of the nines, uh, but it doesn't get me any sixes. And I've tried various things here, and, and none of them will work. Now, I know someone watching this video is going to say, Bill, there's an easy way to do that. And if there is, just let me know down there in the comments, and uh, I'll be happy to, uh, to see this. But the only thing I could come up with live there on the spot is to say, all right, we're going to go back and use the old, old-fashioned advanced filter. So to use the advanced filter, you have to create a criteria range, take this or worse heading, and copy it over here. And what we want is we want 6 star, 7 star, 8 star, and 9 star, like that. And that becomes our criteria range. So we come back to the original data, advanced filter. We're going to filter in place. We're going to specify criteria range of that heading, plus the 6, 7, 8, 9 and click OK, and I get everything that starts with a 6 through a 9. That's the best I can come up with. What do you have? I'm sure you might have a better way. Well, hey, if you like these uh, videos, please uh, subscribe and make sure to ring the bell. And if you have any questions uh, for a future video, post those in the comments below. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.